2014 and 15. That's a rise of nearly 20%. Well, let's talk to Anita Prem, who's the founder of the Freedom Charity, which aims to raise awareness and prevent child abuse, uh, keeping children safe. She joins us now live from Norwich. Anita Prem, thanks for talking to us. What do you make of these figures? Do you welcome the fact that they appear at least to show that more women are coming forward? Absolutely. I mean, 107,000 is a huge number of people, but, you know, we do know it's the tip of the iceberg. But the real positive of this is women feel able to come forward and report, but there may be tens of thousands of other women out there that feel they're not able to come forward because they don't feel they're going to get support. But I think what's really positive right now is that the police, Crown Prosecution Service, are working together with charities like Freedom so they have the right training when they come forward. They know what to look out for and how to deal with victims sensitively and that they keep talking to them until we get to a successful prosecution because many cases fall down before that. So can you say that you've seen real improvements when women and girls do come forward? They are treated differently by the police and by the justice system generally? I, I really believe that is the case because they're taken seriously. They're offered a lot of help by victim supports, charities like Freedom, we offer them support too. But you know, it has to be ongoing. You can't just do it on the first day when someone reports it. It has to be ongoing to the court case and afterwards as well because anyone that comes forward and reports this are very, very vulnerable people. You know, the rape numbers, the level of conviction still isn't high enough for the women that are reporting this horrendous crime. Well, yes, and I know that you focus particularly on the issue of child abuse. Uh, how many of these prosec prosecutions uh, uh, in regard to that side of the, cry of, the, of the crime? Well, you know, we know there's been an increase in the number of people coming forward reporting child abuse, and a lot of that is historic child abuse, many on the back of very high-profile celebrities that have been brought to justice and those cases that we're looking at right now and that has made a big difference it's encouraged other people to come forward as well but but in amongst the figures as I understand it that it's quite alarming how many young perpetrators there are as well do you think that highlights the need for for more education about this issue for, for not just for potential victims but for potential perpetrators as well Absolutely. They need to know what it leads to and also the level of internet grooming and internet crime there is now. And one of the things we've been working with the police and other agencies is how to spot those signs and with young people, how they need to report it and how they must deal with it. Well, yes, and we also told that the internet and social media is playing a greater role. The Crown Prosecution Service talks about it being an enabler of a crime. Uh, how? Is, how is that changing things for you and is that particularly young people are vulnerable in those situations? Well, young people are very internet savvy, but many of them completely trust everyone that they meet online. So we're doing work with young people to make sure that they're not groomed and that they need to look out for this. And, you know, and that parents don't have children with laptops and computers in their bedroom, that they know what they're looking at, who they're talking to. Because many young girls are groomed online and that's crucially important that they're protected. And perpetrators know that they're going to end up on the sex offenders registers and could go to prison for a very long time for, mic for committing these types of crimes. Anita Prem, very interesting to talk to you. Thanks so much for your time here this afternoon.